So hello there. <laughs> uh, I thought it'd be really fun to just show a little bit of uh, just noodling around and uh, detuning, uh, double C tuning up up at the second fret, uh, doing just you know regular uh, everybody knows tunes. Um, with this, this is an OT six, but I uh, had help my friend. Uh, David Oakes made me a new nut for it for just four strings up at the top. So it's back into being a five string. But what I've been wanting lately is a really, really wide neck for doing Nile gut work. And this just does it all for me, uh, which is really fun because it's a banjo I already own. Um, but we're taking a, an instrument at the nut. This instrument is one inch nine sixteenths so a little bit fatter than one and a half inches and um <clears throat> a lot of uh people just go no 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 that's just crazy to have it so wide uh but with the nile gut strings and the way they sort of respond with a high bridge it's really really quite wonderful to have all this space uh, uh so that each each thing that you get uh well, when, when you're working with a higher bridge, you can get very, um, uh, what's the word, when you, uh, percussive, you can get very drummy with it. doing those sort of uh, you get all that ry rhythmic stuff from your pull-offs it makes a really big difference having this space and having the strings up a little bit So things like, uh, let's see. Well, again, this is a 14-inch four, pot, so it's a very loud banjo. So you can sort of underplay it and get uh, nuance and a lot of dynamics. This banjo, I always call it sort of my sawed-off shotgun because it was such a powerful instrument. But when you put, uh, go over from metal strings to Nile gut on this thing, um, there's two really cool things that happen. One is uh, Nile gut strings are a little quieter. So when you have a really loud banjo, uh, well, it, it sort of speaks up and works great at jams and stuff. But it also means that you get all this uh, voice space for making shapes.
really cool. You can pull off uh, leaving notes and then uh, just a little bit later adding chordal things onto it. this much separation of sound uh, anyway uh, so the idea here is again to take a, a wider neck instrument put high strings on it with a uh, null gut strings on it and a really high bridge uh, one instrument you could do this to this is a 26 inch string length uh, this is the OT6 gold tone which they're not making anymore but you might be able to find one if you didn't want to use this, the other instrument that's uh, this thing's sister uh, and would work really, really well is uh, Gold Tone is making a, a deep cello banjo. Again, with this 9 16th, 1 and 9 16th inch nut. But instead of being at 26, that one's at 24 and a half, which means uh, it would be uh, with, if you put regular uh, nylon gut strings on it, you could get it up to A uh, pretty nicely. And again, with a high bridge. So this is kind of an instrument that's already out there that uh, instead of having a luthier, uh, you know, $3,000 to have a luthier make a spectacular wide neck instrument for you, uh, this is a pretty inexpensive way to get what I'm after. Um, so the point of this video is that if anybody wants to try this, uh, they can buy a cello banjo from Gold Tone, change over the strings, and try it for a while. If they don't like it, put the the you know the cello strings back on it, and you know use the instrument that way. Okay, all the best, everybody. Thanks a lot.